Hello and uh, welcome to a brand new episode of ET Markets PMS Talk, a show where we discuss the opportunities as well as investment strategies deployed by the fund manager in the popular space of ultra entertainment investing. Well, my name is Shadhu Janath and today we have with us a very special guest, uh, Rohit Mehta, who is a CEO and fund manager of Turtle Wealth, who manages over 400 crores. Welcome to the show, Rohan. Thank you. Thanks for being part of the show, Rohan. Now, the 212 degree wealth mantra and the growth, growth mantra scheme are fairly recent PMS schemes uh, in the multi cap space. Now, tell us more about the product and the performance. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we are on to the, my understanding being into 17 years into markets and managing millions of money is that, that if you have a process, then you eventually can win over the human emotions, what we all have. Uh, I think the process over the period of time outperforms the performance. And that's what I, I uh, you know, being a spiritual fund manager or an investor <laughs> would believe that. So for a very clear point of time, uh, honestly, uh, the wealth mantra is a process of, uh, first of all, it is just a two flavor, which we have added being the Chinese wall. So mm -hmm. first I'll let you know that how we pick up the stocks and that would be more interesting and then giving you a definition of what wealth mantra does and growth mantra Absolutely. does. So wealth mantra. Uh, so first of all, we find turnaround businesses where we have seen in last 25, 30 years of Indian markets and foreign markets that most of the money has been made in turnaround businesses. So the biggest crux came at how to pick up the turnaround businesses where we invested nearly about eight years of our study that uh, we have found a uh, you can't say a formula but a way to pick mm. up uh, you know uh, uh, the businesses. So we find that the companies which are doing turnaround has three P's into common. The okay. first P is price. So first of all, we pick up companies which are have consolidated for last 10 to 15 years, which has not happened anything. Nothing has happened into this business for 10, 15 years. So first, the stock has to be an all-time high uh, in the whole consolidation zone. So we buy only all-time high stocks. Okay. Now, when it okay. comes all-time high, a value investor will come and say that, oh my God, Rohan, you're buying an all-time high, you should buy stock which is a 52-week low. But uh, we we have to understand that we are buying stocks which are not only all-time high, but which is consolidating from last 10 to 15 years. So eventually, you are buying something which is very low only. Mm -hmm. And uh, second factor to it, when the price factor comes, the second factor to it is that in larger one scale, at least minimum one scale on uh, one year on the scale, it should outperform Nifty 500, which is our benchmark uh, to the price side, and it should outperform its sectorial index. So mm -hmm. like, for example, when I'm buying in Mahindra and Mahindra, it should outperform an auto index and it should outperform Nifty 500. It should be an outperformance of uh, all-time high with a long consolidation. So this is my first price as an indication of which stock is going to do better and better. My second is that once this screening is done out, we go to our fundamentals to check onto the business. This What is the turnaround which is happening into the business? Right. So now, uh, you know, why this company getting out of uh, that 14 years or 10 years of exile period where nothing has happened into it? What are the things which are getting turned around into the business? Is the stock which is which has done an all-time high pat also? We only buy stock which does an all-time high pat. We don't buy stock which is into mid-zone of the business. So we have, we okay. have made it so crystal clear that tomorrow an investor knows why we are buying a stock and why we are not buying a stock, right? Uh, so that is second is, uh, you know, understanding it, getting the nerves of the business. And then mm. the third part is people. And we go and meet the management. We understand what is happening, turning around the story, why this company is what doing what and what are the next four to five years goals of the company. See, when you meet a management, it's like, you know, Warren Buffett, you know, having a, this axiom quote, which I love it, that you should never ask a barber for a haircut. He always says yes. So, <laughs> yeah. so you just need to understand that uh, I recently meet, met a management, uh, an IT company management. My only question to them, I went to Hyderabad to meet them. Mm -hmm. I, only one question to them was that why when all the IT was not doing good, you were uh, all, all the IT were doing good, but you were not doing good and all the IT were doing worst. Uh, are doing worse and you are doing amazing give me one by that's only my question because i don't want to know you know what are the orders because they are going to be extremely illusion tomorrow you have today you don't have yes. but if, if if the strength of the ecosystem of the business is there then we will buy so these are three great areas where we pick up the stock so for example i'll tell you uh, we will not have uh, companies like, let us say, Vodafone's in our business. We will not mm -hmm. have Yes Banks. We will not have Suzlons. Because then that's that's not that I don't want to. Sometimes I also am extremely emotional, right? I'm also human at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So like at 1,000 rupees, I also thought that Paytm was a great buy. 
honestly mm-hmm. but it didn't come i can't buy because paytm is not at all time high it is not at all time high profits mm-hmm. buy so that's the power of what i think so an investor can stick with a fund manager for a longer period of time when he knows what it is the way he's picking up the stocks mm-hmm. and either you get aligned or either you don't get aligned that's okay uh, absolutely i think that it's very it's not personal it's like either you get a line either you don't right uh, and then in this we try to buy companies which are extremely value is higher than the price i'll give you an example okay. a company called g shipping 14 years mm-hmm. ago happened with the company right uh, this company is available below its book value can you absolutely. imagine below its book value with three times of price earning where the whole shipping industry is getting a turn around story into the business and we pick great dividend yield Mm-hmm. crazy dividend deal and then you have to also wait for the time and see last saturday a friday i think so they posted a stellar number and that's how the beauty about picking up the stock happens now i'll give you a buy between a wealth and growth eventually mm-hmm. before our ems we used to have the same thing mm-hmm. so then we understood that this both are a very different uh, understanding for each other mm-hmm. so first what we did was that we will only buy leaders into wealth mantra so we wanted to give an first hand experience for the people who have never invested into pms see uh, we are a boutique pms company so people are going to be first hand investor many of times rather than a pro professional investor and coming to us so we have to also understand what are type of investors we have and second is what we got was uh, you know turning around business that is growth mantra so the companies which are not leaders but tomorrow it could be leaders and in the range of 10000 crores of market cap that's a very sweet spot i think so india has anything between 1000 to 10000 crore of market cap great value 14 13 14 years nothing has happened into stock profit has inclined getting higher but the price is at the same price and there is a turnaround which is happening into the business i think so that's a great spot where the uh, you know the alpha will be created right. so like i'll give you a basic point my first top 3 of wealth mantra is uh, uh sbi mnm bls international so that that is a myth that people understand that wealth mantra is only large cap no it's not like that it's yeah, purely right. a mix of large mid small we are purely sector agnostic and market cap agnostic uh, now comes to growth mantra or top five are like companies like big blog companies mm-hmm. like uh, you know g shipping raymond mm-hmm. not much discovered but people who are looking forward for something as a variety is right. growth mantra and mm-hmm. for something which is purely a decent without volatility portfolio mm-hmm. i think so it's very good mantra right no in fact interesting uh, methodology uh, there uh, rohan and uh, uh, you know all these stringent criteria only help us in picking the right kind of stocks and you will be able to you know catch them young you could say that because then yeah. you know eventually these small and mid cap stocks eventually become the large caps of uh, the next decade or the near future now i was actually going through your fact sheet i wanted to discuss this uh, uh, you know you have this your mission uh, and it is to give investors an amazing investing experience by growing the wealth by 10 times in 10 years uh, in turn around businesses tell us how uh, you know how that will happen Uh, a bit of it you all be explained but uh, you know in case we missed out something please do let us know sure. sure so i i have been always into the point of uh, you know giving a great experience so i'm always been a lover of uh, you know uh, traveling extreme five stars means the best of the best okay. why do that because it's great experience people want to pay for a great experience we believe that you know can we do some certain things because see pms in what what more you can do so i'll give you a very small thing what we have done and it has changed the thought process of our investor so we created uh, so we only manage ultra hni so we know that you know anything above 50 lakh one crore only we have to Absolutely. manage so now there is a big constraint that people don't want to know that uh, in a city like surat because most of your clients are from gujarat they don't want to tell that maybe invest kar raha hu this is also they don't want to know each other you know that's a very right. private so we started a community group in whatsapp where all the investors have been linked nobody knows who are into it yes. and we actually post certain stuffs on to stocks by x every day educating that what are the stocks doing what are the business all about hmm. because there are two type of investors and both are risky one who doesn't see at all and one who sees every day okay 
we 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 have a fear for both of them so we <laughs> want to educate that see it's a long term story it's not a short term it's about business to business investing it's not about buying today and you know getting higher tomorrow Hmm. secondly why 10x is that because see first of all we believe that the sweet spot of 1000 crore to 10000 crore hmm. has this amazing power of getting 10 15x in next 5 10 years where indian economy is going to be unbelievable means hmm. more than hmm. what we can think uh, and it is bigger than yesterday and much smaller than tomorrow which i always say to my investor right. so i believe that if we can compound by 25 27% over 10 years hmm. and that's have been our pre record of pms also mm-hmm. so uh, of course it's it's this record is not a justification that we are going to create but yes. that's our vision see i think so we have to create a point that okay what is the level we want to go what is our benchmark mm-hmm. uh, 5500 as a benchmark this is what is our benchmark this is our benchmark that's not a guarantee but we try to buy companies which have this level of uh, you know working right so that's where uh, our thought process comes from right so in fact uh, in uh, uh, you know cut short that the investing years or at least you know someone who's looking to invest in one of the pmss is around what 10 odd years that he should be uh, you know comfortable with when whenever he or she or the investor is putting money into one of your schemes now uh, you've taken through three three p's of the total wealth uh, uh, what are the five p's of total wealth you know if you have to take it in a 360 degree kind of a way so yeah so generally it's more about i think so what we have to very unique thing 3p i already told the yes. two things i would like to add is uh, first of all we decide when to exit when before we enter a stock okay so i think so that is one of the uh, see i have i have been into markets from 2005 and i've honestly seen more blood in markets than more money in markets mm-hmm. you know people it's so easy to say that you know it's bajaj finance or hdfc bank but then you also have seen companies which has gone totally burst into the markets oh, so yes. what i've understood is that if i can put my exits there are mm-hmm. two benefits of it one i will exit if the stock is not performing i'll not emotionally attach with the stock okay. and second is that if my exit is there i can take my stock to a much higher level which maybe i would have got a fear that nahi nee, yaar i want to book it over here you know it's a high value you don't know uh, i still remember when i got aisha motors in way 2012 at 4000 we bought it at 500 rupees i thought 4000 is too much now you should book it and then that stock went to 20000 like <laughs> which x you created that's crazy right yeah. so so we we don't follow a pure pure model portfolio model so when a fund comes to us the allocation of the fund is purely decided by the funds okay we don't decide stocks remain same but the allocation changes accordingly mm-hmm. as per the risk and reward of the stock eventually so it's purely a methodology where exit price are decided into three variables one is the price when we will exit that can be a technical side of it a uh, second is we decide what happens if the business what are if the birds if business doesn't good we will get out of it and third uh, you know on a very slang uh, language i'll say jamai raja stock when a stock is there nothing happens in the stock right <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so i'll give you an uh, examples we had tcs good right. 3 four years and we understood that now it's very hard for tcs for growing at a that pace of level hmm. you would be surprised uh, we uh we exited tcs and we bought a company called bls international right. which is into visa services mm. uh, an it traveling business but yes still we did it so now why we did it because we understood that creating an alpha in tcs would be very hard in 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 place of creating an alpha in uh, bls mm. though it is a successful uh, you know example so i'm telling you i also failure examples also no no so, absolutely <laughs> we definitely yeah, touch upon touch upon those as well in case we have and, and last last thing we do is that we for somebody it could be important for somebody it could, could not be we uh-huh. only buy companies which are human friendly so we okay. don't buy animal killing we don't buy liquor we don't buy tobacco we don't okay. buy leather we don't buy casinos and we only buy esg compliant so that's where our focus has been our most of money in next one uh, one two months which we are uh, targeting has come lot from international uh, point because for there this is a very important right. part where india mein shayad hai nahi hai it's 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 still getting mature right so social responsible uh, investing yeah 
All right. Uh, well, uh, the next question, I'm sure a lot of your uh, investors would, would be asking this question. So how do you manage your risk in the portfolio? I think some of it you've already explained that a part of it is usually looked at uh, from the quant perspective, uh, yes. right? But but whenever you go to a client, uh, is there any, you know, one or top two questions that they usually ask you? Yeah, everybody asks, <laughs> and I always say that, you know, so I'll, I'll tell you a story which has happened to me. Uh -huh. I got so much into that redress of AUMs and getting returns that yes. in last three months, I've come down out of it. Yes. I've understood that if it makes me happy of the same process, what I have bought, yes. and if it does good, and if it makes me sad of the same stock, what I have bought, and it is not doing good, it's not the right thought process I'm going to go for a longer period of time. So I tell investors three things, which I always say first, like I say, 2100 days is a minimum required time. Uh, 20% percent portfolio can go down. 20-20%. That, that, that is, yeah, COVID, COVID comes and, you know, you don't have anything to talk Oh, absolutely. About. absolutely. Black swan yeah. events, we, we can't predict. And we can't, can't... We do it. And, uh, and the last is that ke loan ka paisa mat dena. Don't give me money which has been borrowed or been taken from CC or, you know, mm -hmm. overdraft facilities. Because at the end of the day, we are not magicians. Mm -hmm. We are the people who can buy right stocks, but we also don't know what is going to happen over a longer period of time. True. So I tell people that we have a funnel vision, but because it's, it's, it's very curated stocks, we can have very tunnel vision on that stock point of time. So that's what we can have. No, no, absolutely. In fact, that's the right way of approaching it. Uh, uh, now, let me also uh, quickly come back to the schemes. Uh, you know, since both your products are from the multi-cap space, so how should one play the small and the mid-cap theme uh, in a broader perspective for the year 2024? Yeah, I feel there is a great value in small to mid-cap. I'll tell you, I meet at least, uh, you know, two or three management in a week. Uh, okay. Because, because of course, the numbers, this is a season time, you know, mm -hmm. because the companies are also doing. Let me tell you that the space of what money is going to make been made is in from one to 10,000 crore of market cap, right? And all, I, I'll tell you a very small example, not a recommendation mm -hmm. in a company called LinkPad. We okay. generally, we just went to meet this guy who didn't do anything good into pen division and what pen means like i never knew that pen markets are big so big right because mm -hmm. how you can categorize pen into which market stationaries fmcg mm -hmm. and this guy uh, came out with uh, uh, came out with this pen called pentonic mm -hmm. and how it happened was that i went to my uh, went to uh, once with my daughter for buying some stationery mm -hmm. and and people were coming and buying this pentonic box and i was like are, is this free or something and then we meet the management and he told that, you know, we created a pen where uh, banti hai paach rupay ki. You're, you're manufacturing at five, five selling yeah. at 10. It's a 40% of gross margin. And I was mm. like, are you serious? And he sells 85 crore pen in a year. Okay. And that's without export. Uh, that's just a part. And if I'm, I'm sure we are in, when we were in school, we used to, we used to crave for a pen called Mitsubishi. Mm -hmm. Amazing True. pen. Very expensive Amazing. at that point. Very of expensive family. at that point, yes. If you're yes. a middle class family. <laughs> yes, yeah, of course I remember, yes. <laughs> yeah. They have the rights of selling in Uniball. They have the rights of selling it in India. They have taken Delhi. So now what happens is that when you understand this business in depth, you understand that he has created something which is going to be robust for next five years. Mm -hmm. And you're getting at a market cost of 900 crore, honestly, a leader of pen in India. Mm -hmm. So now Absolutely. this is, and, and I'll tell you one more thing. People feel that big companies are not going to create big wealth. It's also not right. A uh, company like l &T, uh, which is 14 years, nothing has happened into this company. Mm -hmm. Look at the book orders, what they have got. Look at the way that things are happening in the last two to three years. Uh, it says that it will not do good, but uh, we are all we were all shocked when Warren Buffett took uh, app, um, Apple's stake at nine hundred billion dollar, and from there it went to three trillion dollars. Right. So I think so. It needs to be mix of all the structure into your portfolio, but I think so. The space of more. So I, I'll put I put it this to my investor: mm -hmm. the small companies with one two thousand crore market cap should be a bit low in allocation because they have the bandwidth of creating higher value in your portfolio. And the companies who are larger like L&Ds and M&Ms, 
should be more allocated in your portfolio because there has to be a percentage growth wherein uh, the smaller company, it could be the multiplication of growth. Okay. So if we can mix both together, because in bad times, these companies are going to go down. Mm -hmm. And this company is like, again, I'll tell you an example of a company like Power Grid. We bought it two years back. People used to tell us that, what the heck, you have bought a Power Grid, how this will happen? I'll tell you, it's a 50, it is an 18% Kegger stock. Okay. With dividends. So no, that's it's a mix. We, we don't have only one perspective of, okay, this is only we will do, but rather getting around stories is our theme. No, no, absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, it's an interesting space and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of learning that you're getting uh, while interacting with the management yeah. or the product yeah. profile and uh, the growth opportunities, which, you know, the company offers probably at that point in time, price did not sort of uh, represent what True. the company can do in the near future. Uh, but I think management commentary and while you interact with uh, most of the uh, most of the management, you get a very good idea as to where the stocks and the company is headed. Now, uh, you did touch upon Paytm and why you were not keen to, you know, add uh, uh, this particular stock in your portfolio. But uh, let me get a general view from you on the new age companies. You know, some would promise big growth potential, but might not be making profits. You're very true. See, uh, I believe companies like Zomato, Paytm, or maybe companies like N uh, Nika, you know, all companies which we sh they have created dent in the markets, right? Like today, uh, when you are at home, you don't want to go out and you want to go mm. to a restaurant and stand on a queue. You just want to do, I'll tell you, uh, I, I love this uh, juice of uh, Ville Parle, which is this uh, three, five berries juice. I always okay. went to Mumbai to get a juice at Ville Parle, taking all the traffic of maybe 100, 200 rupees juice. Right. Now, wherever hotel I am in Mumbai, I just do a Zomato and I'll get it because I love that juice, right? This mm. I think I'm sure everybody has this own favorites of their own. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, so I think so that's they have created. Mm. Uh, last two years, I'm, I don't have a, I don't carry a wallet in with me, no cash mm. because everywhere, uh, right now I am at the most uh, under Karnataka area and, uh, they, and not a single store uh, says that I don't have a UPI, right? Mm. And that Paytm. So I think that they've created a dent. They have mm. created a space. I don't think so. There is any point of thinking that these companies will not create value. Mm. Now, the only question comes is when. Mm. So we I don't know when it is going to happen. But I think so the worst over the period of time has happened into the company. I don't think so more worst may have. Now, right. this is the gestation time, which is right. honestly the most painful time for a stock. Yes. When a stock dips, it's not very painful because mm. try to find good price to buy. When a stock goes up, we are all happy. The time is when stock doesn't do anything. <laughs> right. That's where I, I think so. Uh, maybe one, two year more down the line, if it takes, I would be more happy to buy all these IT companies when it comes to my framework. Right. Now, lastly, uh, we did touch upon, uh, you know, the exit part of uh, the price, but uh, why exiting in a loss still makes more sense than averaging in a, you know, portfolio approach? Yeah. So one thing I've learned uh, is that averaging is a sin. If it is yeah. not onto the, uh, you know, higher part, I'm a big, uh, you know, IPL cricket fan. I okay. always see that, you know, 11 players, the most performing gets higher reward of getting higher and higher. The person who doesn't perform gets out of the business. And that's how the portfolio also works for me. The performer comes into it. Maybe if they will all, all 11 will not be in the form of hitting a century. But at least for a captain, the most important part is to find that top 11 where they can perform. I, I, I feel that. And uh, at the end of the day, they perform or not. It is not in your control. You have to strategize it well that who can open the bat, who can open the ball. So that's where who can give you the highest allocation, the lowest allocation, depending on to the, how the company has been forming. Uh, I, I feel that, you know, we have, I have seen 2005, I have seen 2010, or maybe I've read from 1950s or Tulipomania. Uh, we forget the companies who have done bust. We forget it. We, our memories are very, very small. I'll, I'll give you an example. I had, I had a company called Punjloid. Uh, I don't know you remember a company. No, no, of course, yes. Uh, which, which was been told the next LNT, and uh, being a very naive uh, investor at that point of time, I thought this company would outperform LNT, which eventually went bust. And then I can see hundreds of names where they were the best companies. So we did a research of Nifty Fifty companies. You would be surprised that nearly about from two thousand five, nearly about seventy 
to 75% of nifty 50 companies has been replaced by some other stock right so if nifty 50 would be the same allocation what it was in 2008 rather or 2010 hmm. today nifty 50 would not be whatever or 18000 or 18500 what it could be hmm. so if nifty has the strategy of flushing out the non performer hmm. and adding up the performer then i think so for a portfolio manager it becomes mandatory to have more edge than nifty 500 or nifty 50 hmm. because we have to consistently see that what they are doing and how better we can outperform so exiting i would be happy as a portfolio manager to be on cash rather than holding a company which is not been outperforming right well uh, beautifully put there ron and on that note thank you so much for your time and that's all for now but do stay log on to etmarkets.com for more on news business and economy again thank you so much for your time ron thank you thank you it was a great chat with you didn't feel like an interview but it was amazing <laughs> thank you so much for your time sir yeah take care Yes, sir. So it right. went well. Yes, yes. Perfect. Perfect. So I'll send you that V shirt link, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Thank you so much. Bye bye.